me just show you the title of this book. I Found My Tribe by Ruth Fitzmaurice. This is a book that was gifted to me today. I don't believe we are just numbing ourselves in this sea. I look at my friends coping and surviving. Like the rolling of waves, the thrill of the dive, the rush of cold, they choose to stay unchained. This is as free as we can all possibly be. This is a book that my friend and artist Lorna Watkins uh, gifted me with today because I'm in her house. I'm staying with her and um, I want to show you around while I'm here because Lorna is a beautiful artist and a fabulous friend. Come on, person. Sorry, there's two dogs here. Come on out. Come on, bear. You coming? Okay. Lorna has a dog and I have a dog. She's no Ted. There's Ted. And there's Lorna's dog, Bear. You coming out, Bear? Come on. Bear comes out when I close the door. Now. Good boy. Come on. Come on. I'm serious. Come on, Bear. No? Okay. He's going to stay inside. So here we have Ted. And we're in Lorna's house. And I'm just going to bring you over to meet the lady herself. Because we're, <laughs> we're out in her garden. She lit me a fire. And then she put me in a hammock. And uh, we had the crack. So here we go. There she is. <laughs> yeah. Isn't this cool? I've been hunting, gathering. You've been, you've been putting the fire on. Fair play. Ah. Okay. That is called an architectural plant, everybody. And it just, I think it's called a fucking triffid. Excuse my French. <laughs> I've collected seeds though, they're very precious. The seeds of the plant? Yeah. Why are they precious? I got them off Coney Island. Yeah. I saw them there. And, um, but I mean, they grow wild anywhere, I think, in Ireland. Right. But they're gorgeous and they're dried, they're fabulous. Dry, like, do you eat them or something? No, do not eat them, Amanda. Please. Oh, I like to! Don't. Don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't eat the plants. Don't I don't know what to do. Not you eat say, the plants. But why would you collect the seeds for? Because they're beautiful. No, like the seed head, like for drawing. Ah. Let me. No, okay. But you, and I also use them, I dip them in ink to actually draw with as well. Oh, deadly. Yeah, they're cool. Okay. <gasps> All right, lads. So we're here out having. Let me show you the hammock as well that I've just been in. And I haven't fallen out of it. Imagine. Deadly. And over there, in the distance, that you won't be able to see on the camera, but right here is Ben Bulban. So I'm very jealous of where Lorna lives, because she lives exactly where I want to live, which is in Sligo, and out in the country. Yeah, I'm going to be moving here, I definitely am. I've put it out into the universe to find me accommodation here in Sligo. So I want to bring you inside to show you Lorna's studio and Lorna's work and um, we'll see you in there. Oh yeah, and the fairy lights. I'm so jealous of Lorna's house. <laughs> Little chilli plants coming up there. Oh, nice. I want to show you this, look at this, check this out. This is a piece I made. Yeah. So I used to have long hair. Yeah. Really long red hair, down yeah. to my elbow. Yeah. And then I, um, one New Year's Eve, I decided I'd get a fabric scissors. You know the pinking? Yeah. The pinking shears, cut all my hair off. Yeah. I just took an ocean. And then I spun my hair. Oh, wow. So that, that's my hair. Oh. And, uh, that's my daughter's hair, my twin daughter's. It's oh, their hair. Oh, that's deadly. And then that's wax on top of an old gynecological midwifery book. And in the tin, the in the tin that I found. That is deadly. Amazing. Okay. Bit of a dust collect. Here we go. Studio dog. Hello, Bear. Bear didn't want to come out. Okay. Now it's very clean and. Uh, yeah, the last time I was in here, there was a ton of stuff. Look at this, boys and girls. 
so gorgeous and I'm in the light. Oh, the size of it is deadly. Framed and all, is that, is that canvas? It is. Yeah. It's so cool. So I've just got a load of um, work that needs to be finished. Yeah. I can't work on about six at a time. Is so. this generally the size you work on? or is uh, it, does it? Kinda, I've been working on ones that big ones. So yeah. now I'm kind of going a bit smaller. That's kind of small for me. Yeah. And this is very small. Yeah. I these, uh, I've got a few of these square canvases. I well, love I've squares. Done, yeah, I've never done squares, but I like it. I'm going to make some um, really big ones, like meter square ones next. Mm -hmm. Golden. Golden, yeah. yeah I have, I'm golden. trying these lads. I'm not yeah. the fluids. I'm not, I prefer the... The thick body. Ones, yeah. yeah, I like thick body. When I work with watercolors, I don't need the patience. Yeah. Yeah, I like the big creamy paint. Yeah. Sadly. It's the trolley of love. <laughs> Tea, coffee. Yeah, love that. Medium. Kind of like I'm a nurse as well. Yeah. Do you know that is a deadly trolley. It is deadly, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. And you have your scrum board over here in the corner. Yeah, not mm -hmm. exactly rocking. <laughs> it's popping up the wall there. Isn't it? Well, it was, there was an effort made, I can see that. And we're going to paint the wall or the floor white. Yeah. That's the next thing. Oh, why would you bother? Oh, that's such a no, That would drive me mad. Because I want to kind of keep one wall, kind of like a gallery wall. Okay, yeah. But part of it will just be lovely. Yeah. And the rest will be like a working space. Yeah. It'll just make it brighter as well. Yeah, it's deadly. I'm tired of trying to wants to paint. So now, so tell us, um, Lorna, what is your process? What do you... Hmm, that's a very good question. Yeah, we're, when you come in here to start, I'm going to put you on the camera because I just look like a disaster. I do for the disaster. crap. Well, every day, so I like you... this fella. I have these, um, this incense. Yeah. And I like it's a particular, not a flavour, yes. a smell. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we're not eating it. Yeah. And uh, I light him and then that's it. And uh, So do you come in and get stuck into the painting? Do you draw? Do no, you... What, I, what I tend to do, which is kind of a bit of a, sort of a meditation, I do these colour color things, colour charts. And I'd spend, if I'm, if I'm working on a new piece, I decide what colours I'm going to use. Yeah. All right. So I either look through and pick out colours that I want, yeah. that I've made up already, or if I don't, I mix up new colours. I could spend, I could spend hours doing those. Oh, so you pre-select colours? Oh, I do, yeah. I'd yeah. have a palette yeah. set out. Oh. So I do tones, um, God, I've forgotten them now, it's desperate. Tints, tones and shades yeah. of colours. Yeah. And I'd have them all documented. So then I could just go, oh yeah. That one there, I'm not exactly how to make it up. Ah, okay. So I kind of do that as yeah. um, a way of getting in yeah. to... Should I be looking at you or the camera? Camera. Camera, sorry. Pardon me, it doesn't matter, I don't mind. It's a good way of getting my head into, into yeah. here rather than just making balls. Like the cold approach. Yeah. yeah. I tried that, you know, I tried doing palettes and mixing and all that and it's just, I... I and. It, it, it's a pro part of the process that I probably would benefit from, but it's just yeah. not the way. Well, you see, in a previous life, I was a textile designer. Yeah. So you do that for fabric, and you need to be quite uh, precise about weights and dyes and proportions and stuff. So that's yeah. actually really helped me. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, well, I can see with your style of painting, you know, it's, you know, I can, I can see how it pays off, let's say, to do that, because yeah. um, it, you, you have very clear... Uh, clean shapes and yeah, yeah. It's kind of flat yeah it's but it's it's just you know so it's, it's, it's the color is, you is know what? I'm in fact my notebooks yeah uh, but I have all my notebooks that I did had from college like yeah. however many years ago it must be twenty years ago yeah if not more and I'm kind of back to doing exactly what I was doing twenty years ago just yeah. in a big loop yeah and I'm back to looking at pattern and shape and. Uh, just things that I was really interested in all those years ago. Yeah. Whoops. Drink it. Yeah, it's so deadly. So I, I love looking at wallpapers and um, and textiles, household stuff, just for and fashion as well, like embroideries on mm. on stuff for inspiration. Did you see the embroidery tarot coat from I did, Gucci? Did she, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's deadly. Love it. And do you spend the whole day painting or? No, 
no. And do you, do you know what I find? I work very fast and furious. Me too. And then I kind of have to do something else. Like yeah. sometimes I'd sit, like that's my, I sit there and I just look at it. That kind of takes up a lot of time. You yeah. Can, it's not just all, you have to look at it and see. You need a bit of space, is yeah. It a dog's dinner and yeah. more than likely it is and then you yeah, start again, but it's a lot of time spent in the chair. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, they're my prints. They made. are deadly. Love them. They're available on my website. Which we will. www.lornawatkins.com Well, we'll link that we'll below link the that video. Again. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. So is there anything else you can show us? Um, I've started doing this thing, which is what I used to do years ago. Uh, where is it? I did a load, did a load of drawings and then cut them up and kind of for working out compositions. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I photocopied loads, photocopied them loads of times. So I kind of just lay out the flower, because I'm, I'm working a lot in still life. So I yeah. just work out different compositions yeah. and see what works. Yeah. Rather than the expensive way of um, yeah. painting it and then going, oh Jesus, that's shite. I wish I planned that better. Ah. So, you know, you can work out and kind of go, oh yeah, that's good. Or that's crap. And then take photos. Yeah. So you can see then really quickly what's working and not. That's a good idea. And, uh, you know, just, you know, work out where your horizontal line is and whether yeah. it's up there or down there. And, and then I have um, kind of vessel shapes cut out. Very clever. Do you see? Come around this side to me. Yeah. <laughs> so then you can go, that's a big, and I'll just leave one in it, or, or I'll have three in it, or five in it, or whatever. And I think I'll bring it closer, or I'll push it up there, and play with the, the line here. So then, depending on what shape, you know, so I'd lay it on a canvas like that. Yeah. So that's the way I've been working, but that was exactly the way I used to work all those years ago and it's just so funny the gas you've come full circle come full, i've totally forgotten like that was the way i used to design for fashion yes prints on fashion and uh i've just totally forgotten but it's just it's a great way of um of auditioning com composition now yeah so that's um, oh, that's, that's what i i do that so play with shapes and it's great, great. Yeah. it's great to be able to spend your day yeah doing that it's yeah. brilliant excellent Okie dokie. Let us uh, let me see, is there anything out your window? Hi Ted. Nothing out your window to look at. I love that uh, shed there. Oh yeah, I love that shed, it's great. Lovely colours. So now, will we leave it at that? I should might as well. And what's this station here? This is supposed to be kind of a design station because I'm doing some illustrating at the minute. Yeah. So these are drawings that my girls did when they were when they were really small and oh, I yeah. photocopied them. Yeah. So I I was playing with them. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to play with them in uh, repeat patterns. Oh cool. But I haven't really developed that much further. But yeah. that's the plan. So they're on the wall. Excellent. Inspiration. I love them. Okay. Well then that is me showing introducing you to Lorna. And I'm delighted to have been here. And Lauren has put me up here tonight because I'm spending the night in Sligo Yay! because I refuse to drive back to Enniskillen today. First night of Manny. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I wanted a full day today in the studio and a day tomorrow in the studio. And um, there's a 96 mile round trip. Yeah, that's no, crazy. In the middle of that. Um, and I just not. And that's so that would be twice in two days. No, fuck that. Why am I cursing so much today? Okay. Because you're with me. Bye. Bye.